We have disturbing new video tonight showing a daycare bus running over a child. The little girl was near Mission Bend Elementary School this afternoon, sending that girl to the hospital. Our Jacob Rascone is joining us live from outside Memorial Hermann Southwest with an update on that girl's condition. Jacob? That's right, Bill and Dominique, it happened right after school. This second grader hit and dragged 30 feet inside of a school zone. We won't show you the entire video, but it is still hard to watch and amazing that Savannah survived. The streets near Mission Glen Elementary are especially busy after class. Kids darting to the other side, sometimes with parents, sometimes not. This is seven-year-old Savannah. She stops and appears to look both ways, and then it happens. I was inside um, praying, and then I just heard the impact, and I heard screaming, and I just ran outside. I just did what I was taught to do in school. I stabilized her neck, and then I kept uh, pressure on the bleeding, and I just I listened to her heart and her lungs to make sure that there was no trauma to her chest. This is Savannah in happier days, the beaming second grader, the third of four children. In fact, the boy you see rushing to her side first is her older brother, Travis. Other medical professionals happened to be nearby, including Keisha Booker. She was crying at first, but we got her to calm down. I just applied, you know, pressure to her wounds. They were ve uh, bleeding very bad. The school principal, we're told, rode with Savannah in the ambulance. Badly injured, but alive after being run over and dragged 30 feet inside the school zone. So kids are kids. The owner of that daycare bus sent us a statement that says they are conducting an internal investigation and have the child, Savannah, in their prayers. The bus driver is on leave while that investigation is ongoing. And the family of Savannah, the mother, has been talking to me, telling me that she broke her pelvis and she has lost a lot of skin on her legs, her back, and her head, but she's expected to survive and be okay. Reporting live from Memorial Hermann, Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News.